So one word that gets the students all the time is exponentiate. How exactly do we use it? First thing we need to do is just kind of go back to the good old days of when we needed to solve equations and using inverse operations. So like, let's say we had X plus five equals a negative seven, right? Remember to solve for X, we isolated, we undid what was happening to the X. So we would subtract a five on both sides and we get X equals a negative 12. And the same thing when we had like multiplication, if I had like two X is equal to a negative 12 and I said solve for X, well then you divide by two, right? We undid what was happening to our our variable. Those are what we call our inverse operations. So we did this with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, right? Those are our inverse operations. And then we started exploring some different operations. For instance, like the square root of X is equal to a seven. Now to undo the square root of something, what we do is we would square both sides and therefore I get an X equals a 49. And we could do this with the squaring, the square root, the cubing, the cube root. And again, we had our inverse operations. So where does exponentiate come from? Exponentiate comes from the inverse operation of taking the logarithm. So we need to remember exactly what is exponential and logarithmic form and how again are they related to each other because it's not as simple as our previous operations. Main thing we need to understand is what an exponential equation is and how that relates to a logarithmic equation. So if I had three squared is equal to nine, that is what we call an exponential equation where we have three as the base and two as the power and that's going to equal to nine. I can rewrite this as a logarithmic equation saying log base three of nine and again that's going to equal two, right? So when we're reading this, when we look at a logarithm, we're saying three raised to what number is equal to nine. And we see that answer is equal to two. Now, this is really important to understand this because I can also say log base three of three raised to the second power, right? Because three squared is obviously nine. So it's the exact same answer. But what we get here is a two. We can actually summarize this equation by using a variable B and X, where I can say log base B of B raised to the X is equal to X. Now this is for logarithm. So how is this understanding gonna help us being able to exponentiate? Well, if this example you can see is going to be true. Now, the reason why this is important because this helps us understand of why we take the logarithm to help us solve equations. So let's just pretend we did not know what that answer was. Three raised to some power is gonna equal to nine. What we could do is we could take the logarithm of both sides. Now we wanna take the logarithm again of the same base as the power of the exponent because what that's gonna do, that's gonna eliminate me solving for a X as an exponent. So what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and take the log base three of three to the X equals a log base three of nine. Nine. Now here using this rule, we recognize is equal to X. And then here using our understanding of logarithms, three raised to what power equals nine? Well, again, we know that answer is going to be two. Hopefully you can see why we want to take the logarithm of both sides, but what about exponentiate? Why or when do we need to exponentiate an equation to help us solve? Now it's important to understand how we can take the logarithm of both sides, but now we want to understand what, how the exponentiate, what does exponentiate mean and how does this apply? So what I want to do is take again this example and let's pretend we had this rewritten as exponents. So what if I had a three base log of three raised to the nine? What exactly does that equal? Well, let's just go ahead and solve this step by step. Log base three of nine, right? We already know is equal to two. So three squared is, you guessed it, equal to a nine. Now this is very important because if I have three log base three of nine, the three log base of three is basically irrelevant. And we just know our answer is going to equal nine. Just like we did before, when we have the log base B of B raised to the X, that just equals X, right? So when I have three raised to a logarithm of the same base, whatever that argument is, that's going to be your answer. So we can go ahead and summarize this as B raised to the log base B of A is just going to equal an A. Now, why is this important or how can this be useful? Let's go back to a basic example and pretend we don't know what the answer is. So if I had a log base three of X equals two. Now, if I wanted to solve for X right now, X is inside of the logarithm. So what we're going to do is we're going to exponentiate both sides. And what that basically means is we're going to take both expressions and raise them as power with a base three. So we can say three raised to the log base three of X equals a three squared. That's what exponentiate means. And the reason why we want to exponentiate is because now we have this relationship here, which is now going to allow our argument just to be represented on the left-hand side. That's going to simplify down to X. And again, that's going to simplify equal to nine. So the important thing is we take the logarithm of both sides when we want to solve for X as a power. We exponentiate both sides when we want to solve for X that's inside of a logarithm. Logarithm. So you can see exponentiate and taking the log is just your inverse operations, but it's a little bit more trickier than what we have previously done, but it's the exact same idea. So hopefully that helps you understand the idea of exponentiate and why we use it. Go and check out in the next video. What I will do is cover three examples where we exponentiate on both sides to solve for our equation.